Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, whoa, what's today, the 25th? Today is... It's 25th. <laughs> what? Drum roll for the date. <laughs> it's the 25th! Okay, cool. It's not talking about Tuesday though. No, I know, it's, it's Thursday, but this is the day when the Taco Bell fries launched. Oh, okay. You didn't know that? You did tell me that. Today's the oh, day. I'm such a bad listener. Okay, so you guys, this is what they look like. I don't know if that's gonna show up well. But they look... Um, look like Cajun fries, kinda. I know, it looks like... But obviously it's not gonna be Cajun seasoning. Sm it smells really good. It does smell good. Mm-hmm. It does have like a Cajun -y smell a little bit. It kind of smells like Popeye's fries. That which might be it. I Popeye's love fries. Popeye's fries. Yeah. They're it's so good. good. Those, are, those are like one of my favorite fast food fries. Okay. Here's the first step. And here's my pre breedy. So, <clears throat> Jacob got the regular fries, <laughs> and I got the Nacho Fry Supreme, which has the fries, and it comes with. Show the camera. Okay. <laughs> looks like something you'd get at like a sports game. Like it'd be like a really clutch thing to get if you were like in between lunch and dinner, but you're kind of hungry and you're at like a Laker game. That's so specific. But um, anyway, it comes with meats, nacho cheese, sour cream, which I wish I, I don't like sour cream, but it's fine. And pico, but honestly, it just looks like tomatoes. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be pico. All right. so. We're gonna try just the regular fries first with the nacho cheese. First with out. That okay, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll grab this one. They don't seem super firm, like super crunchy. Cheers. Cheers. First things first, these don't taste fresh. They, I feel like they've been, like they weren't fried no. And then served to us. I think this was like under a heater or something. Yes. It's not even that warm. That and I'm gonna take another bite. It's like a hint of cheesiness. It's not that cheesy. It's not supposed to be cheesy. Oh. <laughs> and the, like the nacho fries is just because of you dip it in oh, cheese. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna try it with cheese now. Of course, nacho cheese is gonna make it better. Like, duh. It goes very well with the nacho cheese. It does. I have to say. I like the seasoning. I'm actually not, not mad about the seasoning. No, it is good. I was expecting something different. I think I was a little confused. But no, it's good. I like it. I don't know what kind of seasoning that is, though. I can't really place it. But it's not bad. Fresh. Yeah. It tastes like they made them like an hour ago or something. It is kind of whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is a little soggy. It gets a little soggy. Yeah, if, if, if the fries are crunchier, mm -hmm. mm, it's just not hot. It's like not hot and the fries aren't fresh. And I feel like it's really taking away from everything. Like I feel like mm -hmm. they have a good thing going. This idea has potential, but Taco Bell just needs to crisp up the, the fries. Crisp up your fries, Taco Bell. Was that English? Crisp up the fries. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, to be fair, how much were these? How much? How much was the fries with nacho cheese? Those were a dollar. Yeah, it's they're, a dollar. They're a dollar. No, they're seasoned well. It just needs to be fresher. Mhm. Mm Maybe we got a little unlucky. I don't know. Because okay, since today is like the launch of the fries, they probably had so much prepared because they knew that people were gonna come and get it. So they had fries just sitting around on heaters, probably. Yeah, that could be. Yeah, I now mean, this, classic. This. Classic. We don't need to review this. This is a 10 out of 10 right here. No, Where's seriously, it? I've reviewed this before and I gave it a 10 out of 10. This is my favorite thing on the Taco Bell menu. Oh, Just yeah. like a side note. Oh, yeah. Crunch Supreme, Supreme all day. All but day. I take out the sour cream and I add in beans. Oh, I know. I should try that. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> Jacob said this on the way to Taco Bell, but he's like, you're pretty ne negative with your reviews. I think I've just been unlucky, but I have gotten some really good stuff at Taco Bell. It just seems like their strategy is to like throw 20 things at the wall and see what sticks. 
Like, well, they have like a food lab. Yeah, so the food lab is just cranking out all these new menu items and seeing what is popular. Kind of cool. Can you visit it? I don't know. <laughs> Taco Bell, let me come to your food lab, please. <laughs> okay, so on the nacho cheese fries, I'm going to have to say... Maybe we got a little unlucky, but I'm going to say it's a 4 out of 10. Oh. Yeah, not amazing, but once you add in the nacho cheese, it is pretty great. If they can just make the fries fresh for everyone. Crispy like Popeye's fries. And yeah, and, and mm. crispy, I would say they have potential to go all the way up to like an 8. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then value wise, can't go wrong with a one dollar side like this. This is yeah. a great like little side menu item that you can get with you know with a crunch wrap supreme or with a quesadilla that sort of thing. Yeah I think I'm gonna give it a five. Five? Like, right on the right on the edge. Five for this one. Okay. The, everything would change if the fries are crispy mm -hmm. with the supreme one and just like the regular ones like everyone loves country well not everyone people like soggy fries some people do like soggy fries all right guys that is a wrap up for our review on the new taco bell nacho fries yeah if uh you guys end up trying it yourself comment below what your rating is let us know what you think maybe you'll get a little luckier won't be as soggy yeah yeah get totally give us your ratings in the, in the comments i would love to see what y'all thought if you like this video give it a like and I'll see you next time I try something new from Taco Bell. Peace. Woo!